in between David Moyes, West Ham had Pellegrini, who was absolutely useless. Mm. Absolutely useless. But a good pedigree on paper coming in. Yeah, but that, on paper he's fine because, yeah. you know, you know, you, you get these managers, didn't you? And they've got all these CVs and everything and that. But, you know, West, West Ham's... A, we probably all think it about our clubs. In my opinion, West Ham's a unique club and they need a, a sort of... A, a, um, a special type of manager to understand where the fans are coming from and to try and get the club to where it wants to get to. But my biggest fear is, well, firstly, I don't trust the owners. I don't think they've made too many good calls in terms of appointing managers. I don't forget we've had Pellegrini, we've had Avram Grant, who was absolutely yeah. useless. They appointed Big Sam's. Big Sam's effective, but he ain't playing the West Ham style of football. You know that before you appoint him. Yeah. Um, Slavon Bilic, you know, he tried, but didn't quite work, which was I was a bit gutted about ex team out of mine. So I don't trust the current owners to pick the right person. And of course, if you don't pick the right person, you put some bloke in who we'd never heard of. Six months into the season, we'd all be going bring David Moyes back because we're in a relegation yeah. fight, and that's where you got to be careful. And I think I think the old, most of the older ones remember the tough times. Yeah, you know, it's a bit like Cardiff and, and West Ham. Well, like that, you know, every club has its wilderness years, don't they? And, you know, we had a lot of years where things weren't, you know, listen, I was guilty as I, I played for the club in, the, in those times, but you know, they didn't win a trophy. They, didn't, they weren't going anywhere. They weren't qualifying for Europe. And, you know, you've got to be careful because success is it's very difficult to achieve. And I don't want to say be careful what you wish for because a lot of people have already said that. But in, in this case, they've got to be really, really careful. Yeah, I think the w- the way the club's progressed, obviously they've moved to the stadium and with the crowds they're getting, I think West Ham should look at finishing in the top 10 every season in Premier League. That is, that's got to be the aim. Um, and then going forward, they've got to look to win a League Cup, which they've never won in their history, yep. or an FA Cup, which they haven't won since 1980. Um, so my short list, if you like, um, I would per- this is only me personally, I would like to see a British manager or a manager with Premier League experience. I'd like to see Michael Carrick would be my number one right. choice, I think. I'd like okay. to see Michael Carrick. I think he's done mm-hmm. his apprenticeship now at Middlesbrough Man United. Um, Gary O'Neill, I think, has to come in the running, play yep. for West Ham, done yep. a great job at Bournemouth for Wolves. And Kieran McKenna at Ipswich. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. I don't really see too many. I don't like who they've been linked with. Is it Lopetegu? Not for me. That's my three that I'd like to choose from, but I've not seen any of them three linked with a the job, so what do I know? 